going on YouTube? It's your boy Rome. Back in the dungeon, back home. And I want to just kind of go over what's happened the last six months, share my thoughts, and let you know what's the future as far as travel and this channel. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you guys um, that are subscribers. Thank you guys that follow me and hell, even even um, the haters and the trolls as well. Thank you as well. Um, let me tell you something. Um, if it's one thing that I have learned in the last six months of doing this travel content or just content in general, no matter how honest or transparent that you are, it will not matter. You will not be able to appease everybody. That is just the nature of life. And, you know, I will probably be more, I'm more acceptive of criticism and things of that nature if it wasn't based on lies. But um, lying on me for the sake of just gaining a following, I'm like, that pisses me off more than anything because... If anybody has been following me long enough, y'all know there are three things that um, that really bothered me the most, and it's hypocrites, liars, and bullies. And this person in particular, he knows who he is, and he's probably going to watch this. If so, um, more than likely, he'll probably be on the dislike button side of things. But my my young man you fall under all three of those and it's really really sad to see because it lets me know that there are like some people out there that are really like like they just have like they just have like no good faith and they just have ill intentions but Outside of outside of the trolling and bullying, um, life is good, man. Um, I really enjoyed my time overseas. Six months straight, unbelievable. Um, can't, can't believe that. Still can't believe that I did all that traveling and been away for so long. Um, man, where did we start, bro? Thailand. Then we. Went to the Philippines for a little while prior to my birthday, then came right back for my birthday. Um, as you guys know, I celebrated my birthday at Golden Tiger Bar. Um, shout out to Dante. And then after that, what did I do? After, where did I go after that? I think I went to Bali after that. Spent a couple weeks in Bali. Bali is beautiful, you guys. I highly recommend you guys go there definitely a dope spot to go to you'll meet a lot of um other foreigners because it's a pretty much a hot spot for uh, foreigners um you're gonna meet beautiful women from all over as well as indonesian women who are under the radar as far as beauty goes man you'll be surprised what you'll see down there um let's see then after that i came back to thailand again and then after that, I think that's when I went to Cambodia and then went to Brazil, linked up with um, Passport Blueprint. Um, and I think we did good work down there because um, after collabing with Passport Blueprint down in Brazil, he went from like 800 subs to like 2,000 and something subs, what, what seems to be overnight. So um, make sure y'all support Passport Blueprint and um, Make sure you're uh, watching his content as well. Um, I want to get that brother them watch hours so that way he can get monetized. Um, and it was definitely dope finally getting to meet him in person. Um, real dope, cool, chill dude. Um, and um, definitely somebody you don't you don't want to mess with. Um, he, he he's a pretty big guy, as you can see. Uh, this is the picture that me and him took. Uh, when we went to go see Christ the Redeemer. Um, so, 
You know what I mean? He's part of the background now. So <laughs> next to the passport. So um yeah, that was dope. And then after Brazil came back to Thailand. And then after Thailand went to Germany and um met Soraya Brooks, who is currently still going viral. Um apparently, you know, um you talk about 15 minutes of fame being stretched. <laughs> Um, yeah, she's still doing her thing. Um, so shout out to Soraya Brooks as well because she follows both channels. And um, that was definitely dope. Um, got the walk around uh, the center of the city. Um, you know, she put me on to some Turkish food, which is, oh my God, it, that was so good. So good. Um, and dude beautiful women everywhere um germany obviously you guys what far more expensive than uh, any of these southeast asian countries that you're um hearing of me or you know watching me go to or even south america but um i would definitely say y'all should definitely still visit i would definitely visit you you should definitely at least come to germany and just see for yourself like when it's when it comes to the brothers man they they choose it they choose um you're gonna stand out especially as an american an african-american brother because most of the other black guys that i saw there they were you can tell they were african african and i don't think the ladies was really vibing with them like that but when they saw me you know what i mean it was definitely a different it was kind of like yeah like who is that like where he from like type shit you feel me and you know all y'all gotta do is just look at the uh all y'all gotta do is just look at the most recent video um of the young lady in the green dress that was hugging her like crazy uh waving at me while i was filming so um yeah they definitely choosing out there but um be honest with you guys burnout bro travel burnout i was kind of happy to come home i had already had plans to um come back because as you guys know i'm going to be going to SummerSlam here shortly which is part of my future plans so let me go ahead that's a nice segue into what's coming up um that is going to be uh i'm leaving friday morning um but the event the summer slam event is until saturday so just a little weekend gonna be up there a couple nights come back down to cincinnati um sunday afternoon as you guys know cincinnati to cleveland is like a four hour drive so um you know this ain't gonna involve any kind of flying or anything like that um and then next um next month in september i'm actually going to be going to um, pigeon forge slash gatlinburg getting a cabin me and my folks we're gonna go down there for a weekend and in the middle of that probably at the beginning of september i might try to go to the taste of chicago um because i believe that's like at the beginning of september like the first or second weekend of september um and then you know obviously gonna link up with friends here and there while i'm in town because i am already booked for um uh, my flight back out to thailand i'm gonna be leaving from here september 30th um because i'm going to a Bengals game um monday night september 23rd so that following monday i'm, I'm out of here and i'll be i'll be back in thailand october 2nd so you guys literally when i said i was only gonna be back for two months i really meant that um but it's because a lot of the stuff that i told you guys that i got planned as far as travels around here i already had this stuff kind of planned out way before you know way down the line anyway so i knew i was going to come back home around this time um but still all in all gonna end up spending most of the year overseas for what i'm counting about eight months give or take um so because you know i'm gonna come back home in november right before thanksgiving so I'll be here for Thanksgiving and Christmas, probably New Year's. And then, you know, we'll keep it pushing for the 2025. Um, but you're definitely going to be seeing me in Thailand a lot um, going forward for the foreseeable future. That is where I want to live. That is where I want to stay at um, up, up until further notice. But um, um, as far as next year, 
Um, I know I do plan on going to uh, Carnival to link, link up with Passport Blueprint again. So we'll be in Carnival for Brazil. So be on the lookout for that. But that's way down the line. That's We're talking February of next year, you guys. And obviously, I'm going to do Thailand for my birthday because it'll be my 40th. Um, and with 39 being so lit, I figured I might as well do 40 back in Thailand as well. So I'll be back there in, in March and then, you know, just kind of go from there. But as far as like, that's pretty much what I got planned for about the next nine months. All right. So with that being said, man, thank you guys for tuning in. And until next time, you guys, deuces.